Sorry? Drone up in here again, inshallah. But I have a query before I start. What is the optimal distance this is? I'm always thinking about this distance. How much should this be? Yes, I, as I'm comfortable? It's whatever you've got to be comfortable. If you're comfortable, the patient will be comfortable instantly. That's the most important thing. If I were to tell you, then it's what suits me, not what yes. necessarily suits you. So if you remember yesterday, I was asking you to tell us what you were doing. All right. So whichever talk you were putting on, whether you were advancing, okay. not pushing, all these type of things. I'm just trying to see that you're in no talk. Yes. Excellent. Seems to be some inflammation here. What could that be? Can be proctitis. Can be due to the medicine she's taking, maybe. Beefication is normal where that is because of how, but when you, you actually, it, it rolls All right. and then causes that effect to empty the rectum. Just a bit of air. Yeah, excellent. Trying to keep it center. As you come online. I will have a look just in one second, I think. He just passes the phone now. There we go. Yes, we're drawing a bit to keep the lumen center. Okay. Lumen center. No, it's, it's, a, it's a text message. That's how he, he's been coming through. So, oh. and if you want to give him a ring, I've got no problem at all. It's still only what, 20 past six over there. So he's, he's coming on for 11 o'clock. That's fine, you'll be taking that back. So, no, I'll give him till 10 to and then we'll give him a ring. Now, I need to talk it a bit. Okay, don't talk it a bit, tell us exactly what you're doing. Okay. So when you say talk it a bit, I'm going to start, All right. I'd like to break it down. Yes. Am I going anti-clockwise? Yeah, I'm applying anti-clockwise talk. Excellent. Always try to get the lumen at where in relation to the tip of the scope. Okay. I'm coming, moving the big wheel towards me. If you look at your hand, if you're letting your hand drift forward, keep your hand back here, okay. keep the torque on, feel that torque? Yes. And then you can advance. Don't let your hand drift forward. See how it comes closer and you haven't actually advanced the scope? Because letting your hand go forward, the scope comes back. That arc the allows arc the scope. The but you bring it back, you, you actually have to take your hand back to stop the scope going forward. It's advancing. Yeah. Now again, I have to go somewhere nine o'clock, so I need to apply anti-clockwise torque. Excellent. Excellent. Now, as a trainer, if you stand here, you don't even have to be up there to know what torque. It's pretty much of torque here. To the scope, and yeah, it's lifting off the bed. When it lifts off, that's anti-clockwise. When it goes back down, it's clockwise. So you don't have to be next to it. You can see what he wants to do on there. But he's not actually applying enough yet, so he has to actually apply more. The actually way to apply more is see where the scope's dropping off the bed? Yeah. Now we'll find the 
easy to talk. So what you're going to do is look at the scope. And the best way to look at the scope is over here. If I let the dog go now... It'll uh, dive right. Yes. So the best way to actually... Just that. Hold that there. And then that will actually take the tension out of your wrist. See? Okay. Just hold it there. That's good. If you put the buttons to the floor, then you should... Yeah, that's fine. How does that feel? Yeah, that's pretty simple, straight up. And then what I tend to do is look at the scope itself. So the little wheel is in the neutral position, big wheel, he's got his thumb perfect. There's a dripping coming from the bone, and I'm looking to see the stiffness. Well, I have a question here. Um, it's good. It's, yeah, it's, uh, this bend is like pretty sharp for me. This is a, a lot of torque that I'm applying here. Okay, just to what get have it you done on. with your hand again? You've allowed your hand to drift. Oh, no, hold the scope. Hold the scope, keep it on. See it now. Because you brought your hand back here, the torque's gone on. Let your hand go forward, the torque comes off. See okay. it? So keep your hand. Yeah. Can I straighten my scope? Ignore that. Okay. Ignore that. That's, okay. that's catching your eye. Right. What it is, is this hand needs to be here. All right. That's it. Okay. Good map. Excellent. No, you're doing fine. That is too much talk. So start with your thumb around nine o'clock. Yes. Put your thumb at nine, and that's it. Now as it goes round this, advance. I now let the talk come neutral. Neutral, yeah. Yeah. That's better. Now I'll go up a bit. Yeah. See the dip up. And just blip. That's it. That's enough. Any longer than that, then you'll, you've actually caught the tissue. Don't worry about it. Draw back just yes, a centimetre. And now go forward. It'll be alien to you to draw back. Oh. Don't try not Sorry. to suck and oh. go forward okay. because it trips you up. It's a bit like catching the carpet as okay. you walk forward. Try not to do it. No, I was just looking where the lady's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Nice and steady. You're doing really, really good. But here is resistance now. So, so I'm better. I'm better for resistance. I'm getting good. Okay. Complain. First of all, think about is it enough gel on the scope? Okay. Have more gel. Got to give it, you've got to advance the scope to get that gel to, to actually lubricate the anus. Okay, okay. How's that feel now? Yeah, a bit better. You've let your hands drift forward again. Oh. That's it, and advance the scope nice and steady. Not too quick, keep the torque on. Not too quick, keep the torque on, excellent, nice and steady. Okay, we're drawn now. And we're drawing actually and that's helping you know, for some reason. Just advance nice and steady. If we look at the algorithm, there's an algorithm. Advanced till you get discomfort or pain, or it's unsafe to do so. Okay. At the moment, we're comfortable again now. Yes. So it's okay to continue, is it? Yes. Okay. Nice and steady. Excellent. Excellent. Keep going. 
nice and steady. Steady, nice and slow. Well done. You're doing really, really good. Really good. That's good. Take it easy. Excellent. Try not to suck as you go forward. It's hard when you, you know, you first start out. Because, but what it does, it keeps taking it forward in front of you. That's good, man. Slowly manoeuvre. Tell me what you're doing. Mm, just advancing and trying to keep the lumen centre and oh, applying a bit of a torque, anti-clockwise torque. There's a loop forming car. You will always get that position. That's good. Trying to get the scope guy to work for you. There's no one to one there. Is there any chance that can come across just a little bit, Eric? For you, my friend. I don't have a one to one point. The loop for me. Bit more. Bit more. Brilliant. Superb. That's good. If you look at the scope guide, the scope guide says you haven't got a loop yet. Oh uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> withdraw this go. I bet. I got I lost one to one. Good man. Put that band's nice and steady. Excellent. Come nice and steady. Good man. You keep letting your hand drift forward. It's very important. What, the reason why his hand's drifting forward. Can you see why his hand's drifting forward? No, it's his elbow. He's taking his elbow away from. So as a result of taking his elbow away from here, he's letting his hand drift forward. I'm now applying a clockwise top. Yeah? Mm. You're very quiet. Oh, I am. I? Are you? <laughs> no, no, I'm not that quiet actually. Oh, okay. Is okay. he quiet? Not that quiet. She says you shout a lot. No. Good. <laughs> 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 He's just inflating some air. Yeah. Trying to keep the lumen center, preventing my hand, trying to prevent my hand from drifting <laughs> forward, <laughs> keeping my elbow close to my body. It should be, but uh, you know, you, you, you work with what we've got in this situation. Because I'd have my processor here, but that's just me.
just check this again. I think you're doing really good, my friend. Just slow it down. Tell us what you're doing. You're ever so quiet. Um, the patient seems to be in such a pain. So I actually was withdrawing this hope. So what do you think that might make a few... She's not snoring, is she? Oh. So it, it's either the air or the like blue. She, she, she's bossy, isn't she? She, she? She'll tell you. She'll tell you. Okay. 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 Now I'm dressed up lying up. Nice and slow. You're doing really good. Bit of anti clockwise talk. Yes. We're drying. Stop me. Do you adjust again? One thing with slight anti clockwise top on. So, what could we do now to make you feel a little bit more comfortable and make things. Maybe progress? turn the patient. Why? So uh, mm, because uh, the sigmoid may then fall on this. Uh, maybe it's well, a loop that I'm following. Neutral, yeah. yeah. And uh, what else? Oh. If you, what could be causing a discomfort? The loop. Could be a loop. We've got the skull pushing up into the apex. Yes. Could be the fact that uh, we're actually just coming now into the sigmoid and then the tips just come up into the descending. Okay. And we can reduce that shortly. Yeah. Sorry. If we put her onto a back, it might be that you've inadvertently put some air in the airs that's been collecting here. Yes. So is that before you move her, try to find out what Why? you think might what be going. So where's the discomfort she's getting? Is it in her pelvis? Is it in her side? Is it that somewhere? She feels yeah, bloated? left in the left upper abdomen maybe. So, left, that, left. so is that what she's left. saying? That's where she's yeah. going. The patient is asking me to stand at the back and she's worried about it. Ah, right. She's so very fine. So she's fine. Well, there you go then. <laughs> so we're hearing something else and the shoulder is getting told off. <laughs> Again, we have these religious issues. Uh, I'm talking now. Excellent. Anti clockwise talk, need to see the lumen. We're drawing a bit. Mm. Putting some air. Good man. Okay, just a um, big tip off. Tell me about the pain. Now, just trying to keep the lumen center. I need to apply talk. I need my hands keeps on drifting. Mm. Nice and steady. Yeah. Now we're making excellent progress. As long as you put it in slowly, oh, yeah. the patient will actually Good tolerate it. It's yes. actually when people put Rush the scopes in and yeah. rush it in, it suddenly stretches the mesentery, yes. suddenly causes the pain. So even though you, we know on the scope guide, then we have a loop, loop. <coughs> we've got to get the tip of the scope above the apex before we can actually reduce it. So uh, that's sort of an alpha loop, is it? I don't know. Just keep going nice okay. and steady. Just keep going. I have some resistance here. It's going. Yeah? Yeah. We're drawing now. Yeah. Advanced? No, don't withdraw yet because okay. if your tip of your scope isn't above the apex okay. of the loop All right. and it needs to be well above. Okay. So keep advancing nice and steady. I need to apply talk here. So what are we, What? where's the lumen? I just need to see. The lumen is like in nine o'clock position at the moment. Seems to be somewhere there. It's only because of uh, I'm trying to sort out with Brian. That's the only thing. Well, if I have to turn like this sharply here uh, yeah. towards there, so can I take my body here and like? You could do. What else will actually put that? Changing the position might help then so again. That's there. If you, what position would you put her in? Um, actually, put her towards. Uh, if you put her on the back, what facing would that towards do? me. So, in effect, you'd actually actually to get that where you want it. 
because the lumen is here, yes. if you can see where it is, yes. if you actually brought her onto a back, would that put it at 12 o'clock? No. Because if it's at 3 o'clock, bringing her onto a back takes it to yes. 12. At 9 o'clock, you have to put her onto a stomach. And I don't think that would be appropriate for this lady because you've got to think of cultural reasons yeah, and, well. and ability to do. Mm. And I think sometimes that position is just not, not uh, just. dignified. That's so what options do I have? <coughs> doing good. Excellent. Slow it down. Nice and steady. Now you can see it, you've got it right yes, in the center. Same thing, yes. Excellent. talk on. Yes, Don't I let go of the talk with the right hand. The right hand just needs to be steady, introduced nice and steady. You can just advance it nice and steadily. Just keep going. Nice and steadily. Sometimes I think my hand goes on forward because I'm, I need to apply talk. I don't know. Maybe my hand okay. is forward. Well, let, because let me just show you. Yes. It's only because of what we've got happening. We've got plenty of time. Right, if you look where the scope is, the scope needs to come round. And then see what I've got my hand back here. I'll let the scope just relax into the hand. Just let it go nice and steady forward. Just keep it going. I've not put in any air in at the moment. Just there, just keep it on. And then you can just. You're see not applying it. in the top here at the moment. No. Okay. And then just let it go. See it there? Yeah. As it goes forward now. Now I know that if I. I just know yeah. that if I put the scope here, put the scope there. Draw that back here, that will reduce, as you can see on there, look at the scope guide, look at the scope guide, see your loop starting to come down, see your tip staying stable, see it? Yeah. The tip has stayed stable completely on the image, and that's all it is. I'm okay. just looking to make sure that the tip on there is fine, and all I'm doing now is just got the tip well above. So I've actually reduced what no. you had in there. All right. So, but how did you know at that time? Did you use a scope guide as a view? I don't no, know. I didn't you didn't know the scope You guide. didn't even no, see I the scope guide. No, I was looking at you. Yeah. I wasn't looking at yeah. the scope guide. So, but when I was not advancing, now, first, a moment before, you told me not to reduce the loop. But, uh, but the tip was above the apex. Okay. If you look now, you can see that the tip is below the apex. I'm sure it is, because I'm getting a strange movement in the scope. Okay? Now you can see here, I've got the loop in front of the scope. So I'm going to take that out, just to see how it feels. And it didn't like it. But now just draw it back a little bit further. And then if you look now on the scope, we're straight. It's straight. And then you can go forward. It wants to re-loop, but keeping this thumb in this position, yes. and that's the most important thing, yes. stops it re-looping. Then talk on, talk off, talk on, talk off. Talk on, talk off. All Has the a tendency to re-loop, then what do you do to prevent that? One is you tell me that the thumb is, should be in, the in line with the yeah. anus. It should be in line. Now you can see what I've done. Yes. I've kept that there. And then talk. All that, that, what that's doing is keeping the talk on. Giving a sculpture, on. yeah. That yeah. I want to keep on. And then draw back the scope. Now come back. It doesn't feel relaxed yet. Yeah, it does not. It doesn't feel quite relaxed. And then she can go forward. And there, and it comes again. So let it go in nice and steady. The scope is 
Pretty dry. Pretty dry. I did notice what I do. I take the scope back yes. a fair distance. And then you go back I, into lubricate. I lubricate then. that and then I pass that in. Right. And now I draw back. Right. Now clockwise torque. And now the scope is back forward. See? Yeah. 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 And then come back again. And then let the scope go forward once again. So all the time it's not trying to overforce the scope. If it keeps doing it, yes. what I tend to do then is I take it further back and then we go again. Okay. Because you're and not reducing the loop at all. Okay, if you take back in further, then you go in again with the, the same like leg or like you no. have to try something different. Yeah. You have to well, try something. Always try something, something different. different, yes. What would that be? In this case. So as you can see there, yes. we're looking at this, it's coming right up. Uh, What's she actually saying? She's in pain, a bit of pain. Okay. Are you okay? Talk to her. There you go. What did she say? She's in pain. A little bit. Let's get out of the gas. Let's get out of the gas. So again to keep that torque on, if you notice I tried to get it so yes. the apex is forced around. Yes. yes. And as it comes back now, I let the scope come back. And I try to neutralize wherever possible. Okay. And don't try and put too much air in. Right. And it's only because that term I'm thinking about the, the chap who's going to come on, that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Anyway. I wouldn't normally step in, I promise no, you. No, no, I am. I'll do one more with you, man. Don't worry. No, you, you must. Because it, it should work out yes. that we end up getting you to do about five cases. Okay. And there's the lumen just above us. Okay. See when I like to keep it? 12 o'clock. So the big wheel's back. See the little wheel's neutral. Let the torque come in. Hand off the scope. Bus, bus, sorry. I'm taking a minute. I'm taking a minute. I'm taking a minute. हवा निकाल लो पेट में हवा महसूस हो रही है कि उसको निकाल दो नाउ लिल बिट ऑफ क्लॉक वाइज जस्ट कीप इट ऑन एंड वेट कीप इट ऑन एंड वेट यस नाउ गो मैन एंड देन ड्रॉ बैक I'm watching him jump. Would turning it to our back help at this moment?